Hello and welcome to the Money School with LaShawn Holland. I really appreciate you being here. And today I have my options trader extraordinaire with me. My oldest, my firstborn, my initial Y, Adam Holland is here with me. Thank you for having me tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since I've sat down in this chair. It here. has been. It has been. Um, hi, Martin. How are you? Good to see you today. Um, hi, Robin. Rob, Adam, uh, so my Robin. What's going on, Robin? Hi. How are you? Hey, niece. Hi, Tashana. How are you today? I'm going to yeah, wait. We, we got a little thunderstorm going on outside. Yeah, we do have a thunderstorm, so prayerfully. Um, we don't lose connection uh, here, but anyway, hi Deandra, how are you today? Hi Gloria, how are you? Hi Crystal, how are you? Crystal, I'm going to talk about something that uh, you high-fived me on earlier today. Uh, how are you? Hey Vivian, hi Lakeisha, how are you? Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to the Money School. I appreciate it. Hey, listen, share, have a watch party um, because this is a subject that a lot of people need to know about. The title of this tonight's uh, Facebook Live is going to how to find your investment mojo, right? Who doesn't want to know how to make money in the market? Um, but what prompted me was the uh, earlier today, I actually sent out a post on my personal page because I was getting so many um, DMs, messages. People were tagging me on social media about this and I was getting a lot of DMs with people saying, hey, you know, somebody approached me at church about doing this and I just wanted to ask you, you know, what do you think? I had people calling me at home about it. And I get it all the time from Iraqi dinar. I mean, I've been getting these type of calls for years and years and years. And so, although we want to teach on investment, I want to teach in the beginning what an investment is not. And so, um, one of the things that I think is very important, um, which is the reason why I asked you to share, is because I think that educating ourselves is paramount. It's like one of the best investments that you can ever make. And I started teaching Adam about investments when he was like in the fourth or fifth grade. I think that's when you bought your very first mm -hmm. investment was in the fourth or fifth grade. Do you remember why? Yep, Nike stock. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nike stock was your first investment in the fourth or fifth grade. But even um, before that, I remember, and my husband remembers this too, when Adam was born, we started receiving a lot of gifts from everywhere. Um, my husband is the last Holland of his generation, his family line. And so when I had my first, my oldest son, everybody in the family went crazy. They were so excited that the Holland name could live on. And no pressure. <laughs> and, um, we just started getting gifts, um, bonds from everybody, you know, and so a lot of people were sending us bonds, a lot of older established uh, family members or my husband's aunts was sending us bonds for Adam. But then I noticed literally, and I'm not exaggerating, all the white people at my husband's job gave bonds to Adam as gifts, didn't they, Rob? And so I know I wanted, and this is the first time that that ever happened, you know, no one had ever given me a bond for a gift before and so it really started me thinking about learning how to invest and learning about the different asset classes and so um, I wanted when Adam was born I wanted him to stay in that vein had no idea at the time that this would become um, something that he does professionally um, but I started the mindset training of investing when he was probably eight or nine years old. And so do you remember Saturday mornings when I would wake y'all up and make y'all come in here? Mm-hmm. You know and I right? think, uh, I, I'm sorry, I was just, I was really tied up on the statement you made earlier. I didn't mean to hijack this, but about knowing He's always what, <laughs> what an investment isn't. And people, it's so underrated. Like I've just been stuck on that statement because it's so underrated the importance of that statement because I feel like that is what helped, you know, correctly set the mindset for how how I would evaluate 
a potential opportunity. Yeah. Because growing up, you would always tell me, hey, you didn't always say, oh, hey, listen, we have an opportunity here, we have an opportunity here. You would also tell us about the things that you would not pursue and the things you would not take advantage of. Right. And I feel like that ends up being even more instrumental to your education regarding investment, knowing what is, you know, the crap and then what is the treasure. And that's super, super, super important because just because it has the potential to make money doesn't make it an investment. Right. Like that doesn't make it an investment at all. Right. And so those teachings for my children actually started really early on, very young. And I use every opportunity as a learning experience, whether I'm in the car, especially since they went to school over an hour and a half away from home. I had quite a few, um, I had a long distance to be able to teach and talk. And they did, I didn't think they were always listening. Sometimes they complain, but I didn't care. I still made them get up on Saturday mornings, come in my office, draw out on my walls uh, and start teaching my kids. And so I talk a lot about that. In um, my book, Born to Multiply, I'm not going to teach here something that I've already taught inside of the book, but I am giving this book away for free um, right now. And one of the reasons why I feel like I made the decision to give it away for free, um, and I'm not sure if you can see it, I'm holding up. Anyway, um, one of the reasons why I decided to give this book away for free was because I wanted, I didn't want the cost of anything to be a limitation and get it into people's hands. And I think we are in one of the greatest times in the history of the world to be able to build wealth. But I also think it's important that you know what to do with the wealth to be able to keep it, to, a, to be able to make it grow. And I believe that, you know, God created us to be multipliers, but the world has taught us how to be managers. And so we don't have a vision for our money and we don't know um, what a good investment is so easy for us to want to just, I, can't, I get this all the time for people, you know, I just got a text on Friday where someone says, hey, I got $30,000, can I just give it to you to invest for me? No, I'm not doing that. And I get that all the time. You get that all. We, we mm -hmm. get that quite often. And I talk about um, my uh, journey to learning how to invest and learning about cycles and bubbles inside of the book Born to Multiply. You can get it for free right now for a limited time. And the website is born to multiply book.com. All you have to do is take care of shipping and handling. And in here, I have a, a section where I'm talking about um, investments, but at the conclusion, um, I make a statement that I think is important and then we're going to get into what we're talking about. It says, I've come to learn that you can throw all the knowledge in the world at a person, but if they are not in the correct mindset with the correct exposure and perspective, that knowledge will fall on deaf ears. And, you know, I was really shocked by the number of people, especially um, a lot of them have been inside of my community for a while, that have been asking me about this particular Ponzi scheme. And so I was really shocked. And I'm like, but I know you read the book. I know you know how you should have finished the book if you haven't. Um, but if you haven't, you start it, finish it. And then highlight, make note cards on things that you know that you need to learn. How to evaluate what is a legitimate investment? What's a sound investment? And so, you know, a couple weeks ago is when I first heard about this particular um, pyramid scheme. And I'm going to give you the de definition of a pyramid scheme because when I posted about it, people got so upset. I had people say, I know you're, you don't want to mess up your brand, so you should take the post down. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I feel like I have a moral responsibility. When I teach people about money, I have a responsibility to teach them not only truth, I want to teach them what's illegal. I don't want my clients being toted off to prison. I know church people that got caught up in Ponzi schemes before and have served time in a federal prison because they influence people to go in and do Ponzi schemes. And so the definition of a pyramid scheme is an illegal investment in the United States in which each paying participant recruits two further participants with returns being given to the early participants using money contributed by the later ones. Or the latter ones. And so that's the definition of a pyramid scheme. And so even CBS, if you Google SUSU, S-O-U-S-O-U, -S -O -U, 
Um, CBS is even talking about it. People call it the bloom or the blessing loom. Um, is resurfacing it on social media. It started back in 2016, but Ponzi schemes have been around since the beginning of time. And so you, they also call it the blessing bank or um, the infinity loom or the snowflake blessing or the giving circle. Mm -hmm. I don't care what pyramid. name you give it. It you is a pyramid. The yeah. bait and switch. <laughs> yeah. and, I mean, at that point, that's really all it is. You're taking a stone, you're putting it under, making it look like you're going to get something else, and really they just, you know, pass it off to the other person that happens to be looking. Right, and so I remember there have been times when, you know, either it was my youngest son, somebody would approach him while he was away in college about something, and I'm like, what, what have I taught you? What are the measurements for you to measure wh whether this is an investment or not? And so, you know, I remember years ago, sadly, I was in an investment um, meeting with a bunch of people and somebody made the comment and it just, it, it, it rubbed me the wrong way and it just struck me. And he made the comment, he says, churches are full of gullible people. It's mm -hmm. one of the best places that you can go mm -hmm. to make money. And because I am a born again believer, um, that bothered me. It rubbed me the wrong way. And I remember actually leaving that meeting because of that statement. But religious based financial fraud runs rampant. You guys may not hear about it, but it happens all the time. They're called affinity frauds. And, um, you know, there's a guy who actually, I had y'all read, read about him, and he mm -hmm. is in prison now serving 16 years for committing fraud at um, one of the largest churches in the country, Joel Osteen's church. And he ended up swindling millions of dollars from people. But, um, you know, and they prey on people with um, that are either poor or unsophisticated with their investment knowledge. And so this is not something that's new to me. I myself years ago, the reason I found out about it is because I lost money in something that was called life without debt. So whether it's life without debt, Metro Dream Homes, I mean, a scheme, it may change colors or change names, but it's still the same thing. And so the Bible says that wisdom, by wisdom a house is built, but knowledge fills its rooms. And so I think it's very important that um, people understand that these schemes, what's the newest one that you mentioned earlier? Yeah, so this is Dogecoin, which you guys have probably heard of, or Dogecoin, um, which is, it's not a pyramid scheme, but it's an altcoin. So I don't know if you guys have heard of altcoins, but pretty much all they are the next get rich quick thing. You have a cryptocurrency that's worth, you know, one one millionth of a dollar or one one millionth of a cent, and then they say, all right, get in now you buy a bunch of different altcoins and then eventually it might be worth a dollar and suddenly you you know 10,000 x your initial investment but this is just another means by which people are looking to get rich quick and the whole thing is that whoever you know got rich quick didn't stay that way because you don't get rich quickly those things don't even happen they don't even go hand in hand they shouldn't even be mentioned in the same sense so right here really quick um, I remember years ago, Rob and I had an investor um, who actually said that he's seen instances, a mentor, a mentor. Um, and John says, listen, I've seen instant success and I've seen lasting success, but I've never seen instant lasting success. And we have to get out of this mentality where we want to put something in for nothing and think we're going to get a million dollars out of it. And so really pyramid schemes, whether it's Susus or anything else, you know, they're designed to play on the trusting nature of people and to give money and expect a greater return quickly. And a direct message normally, especially now because we're in the age of so technology, um, it arrives through social media, most often through Instagram or Facebook. And, you know, it's by a friend or a family member, someone that you trust or, you know, a, a church member or a passer by, or, you know, it could even be a stranger. But, you know, if you start getting weird invites of people that you don't know. And so they invite you to join the blessing loom or the bloom, which is its nickname, and then proceed to explain that it's an excellent opportunity to earn money while also blessing others. They know all the church lingo, right? That I've even heard people make presentations and throw a couple scriptures up in there mm -hmm. um, because they know for the believer, oh my God, you know, he knows the word of God. He must be telling the truth. 
And so while the amount to start may be small, $100 or $500, I think that's what Susu is, you know, um, is paid through PayPal or Venmo. And by the way, you should know that the uh, Federal Trade Commission and the SEC are tracking you through your social media posts about getting people to join Susu. So if this is you, you may want to stop. But, you know, and or... it's illegal to use that platform. Yes, it's illegal to use Facebook's platform to do that anyway. But, you know, or whatever Venmo um, or PayPal or whatever other payment service that they use, you can, they talk, they teach you that you can actually spread wealth and see a huge return with the money that you put in. And so with Susu, they even have Zoom presentations for you now with people's names on the charts and you can um, see who's participating. All you need to do is recruit a few other people to be able to invest and so you recruit more the pot grows and everyone is happy until they're not right until people stop coming in people mm -hmm. stop joining and then the people uh, can no longer pay the people at the top are no longer getting paid and so when investing relies on you recruiting any individuals to keep the scam afloat it is called a pyramid scheme mm -hmm. it is not an investment and so once people stop participating, the money supplies stop as well. And so this leaves a lot of people disappointed. This leaves a lot of people upset who lose the cash that they initially invested. And so this is illegal, guys. I, I understand <laughs> that it was started in Africa. I get the reasons why it was started. I know people in Asia use it. I understand that people in the Caribbean use it. But when it started, it was to help people within the family unit. They weren't required to start recruiting people on the outside. The moment you are requested or required to recruit people, it is illegal. And so it's a, valid, uh, a violation of the postal co code. It's a violation of the United States banking regulations. And there are tax ramifications for not reporting any money that you get from this. It's a violation of the securities and exchange laws in the country. And so I don't care how you spin it. It's illegal. You know, Texas law states that you will get up to two years in prison and a $10,000 fine for recruiting people to join. And so people trying to get rich off of hearsay, but you can't maintain wealth off of hearsay. Right? And mm -hmm. so you talked about that earlier. And so I don't hear about Warren Buffett talking about Susu. Like, have you ever seen a news flash come up? No. Nope. Where Warren Buffett talked about joining Susu? Nope. Bill Gates? Nope. Hmm. You know, Nobody. you don't hear Warren Buffett ask his cousin about investments. Like, you wouldn't know half of the people that's inviting y'all to join this stuff, you wouldn't trust them to walk your dog to the mailbox. Why would you trust them to teach you investments? You know, pyramid schemes are illegal in the United States and Canada. And so that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, there are, even if you just start Googling, you'll see that a lot of states are now issuing cease and desist orders from mm -hmm. the people who are actually trying to recruit people on social media because they can track it. And, and if you want to know whether something is legit or not, do your homework, guys. Check with, listen, I'm going to tell you what my go-tos are. I contact the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. My next stop is the Federal Trade Commission to, to see if they know anything about this particular investment to see. I contact the SEC to make sure that it's registered um, and or pick up the phone and call your state attorney general office. Like I did that a couple years ago when, you know, someone in our ministry, in our church was going around recruiting people and people lost a lot of money behind that. They lost their homes behind that. I saw marriages fall apart behind that. And so contact your state attorney general during that time when I picked up the phone and just so happened my kids went to school with the state attorney general's kids. And so I was like, hey, listen, and I told him what was going on. And he was like, look, we're already watching. The feds will allow you to go up to five years so they can make sure they get enough charges to stick for you. And so just because you don't know they watching don't mean that they're mm -hmm. not watching. And I'm not trying to, you know, uh, cast fear out on people. I just want you to be educated about what's going on. The best defense is knowledge. 
I'm going to say that again. The best defense is knowledge. And so always. people always. And so people need to be more educated about investing, spe specifically invested in the new economy. And so if you don't understand it at all, then don't invest in it. You know, know what the risks are. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's important that you guys know that. And so I've invited Adam on with me today because I want you to learn how to measure real investments. Right. And so and that takes a different mindset. Right. Yeah. One thousand percent. And I feel like, you know, all of this just kind of goes back to the idea that people have to take the time to gain knowledge because knowledge is the lens through which you can evaluate opportunities. Wow. Right. And you can only correctly evaluate opportunities by having knowledge to see through what is, you know, a farce and then what actually is something that has some real value and has some legs to it. So it's just super important for people to have the courage to invest in themselves. And that is what, you know, at the end of the day, the end all be all is super important because at the end of the day, like she said, people come to you, people come to me. Oh, hey, I'll give you $10,000, $20,000, $100,000. I'll trust you to just, you know, do something with it. At the end of the day, and a lot of people don't want to hear this, it comes back to a self-confidence issue. If you're willing to bet on your cousin, your barber, your hairdresser, your son, I don't, I don't even know, you know, the, the guy who walks the dog down the street. If you're willing to bet on all of them being right with your money, but you're not willing to bet on yourself to know what to do with your money, that says a lot about what you think of yourself. So even in the grander scheme of things, I don't mean to digress, but this points to a larger problem within society that people don't trust themselves in their own intelligence. The people that invest correctly aren't geniuses they just invest knowledgeably they do their homework they acquire knowledge and that knowledge allows them to sift through all of the noise that we get day in and day out through social media through friends through any type of exposure so you have to expose yourself to what true investment is and what real success looks like and stop trying to get rich quick get rich overnight because you know like we just said Getting rich and staying rich are two completely different things. I would rather have, and you can quote me on this, I'd rather have $10 in the correct mindset than a million dollars in the incorrect mindset. Because your the mindset is, what do we say what we say it was uh, earlier? Goal achievement machine. Oh. The mindset is like the ultimate, oh, Correct. the ultimate corrector. So no matter, and she talks about this in her book, no matter how much money you have, your money will regress or just adjust to the level of your mindset concerning money. It will money. rise and fall. Rise right. and fall. It will ultimately correct itself because that's how it works. So let's say that even on the off chance, let's say that one of these get rich quick schemes works. Whether it's Dogecoin, Susu, whatever. Even if you're not even planning to get rich. Let's say that it works and it happens to work and you take $10 and you turn it into a million dollars. What is your next step to then maintain that wealth? Let's say your friend tells you about the next altcoin that's supposed to be huge. You take 10 bucks, you turn it into a million bucks. What are you just going to keep searching out people to give you this advice? You're never going to actually take the time to learn what to do with your own money. You're just going to keep betting it on other people. Because eventually, let's say you get lucky 10 times in a row and you have $10 million. Are you going to keep trusting the future of this $10 million to random people? So you can't just go about laying the track for your life plate by plate, train track by train track. You have to take the time to actually figure out how to construct this for yourself. Because but, even if you do get rich quick, it's a completely different thing between getting wealthy and then maintaining that wealth. And But here's the problem, Adam. We've grown up through life like a train track, like we're so used to from being a baby, people laying the track for us, right? You whine when you're a baby, you hungry, somebody feeds you. You fall down, somebody picks you up. So they're laying the track. You go to school, somebody lays the track mm -hmm. for you. They tell you what you should know. And then when you become an adult, the train track ends. Mm -hmm. And so because the train track ends and you're so used because that is the way our archaic educational system teaches us, you're used to somebody telling you what to do every mm -hmm. step of the way. And they only test you not on real life experiences, but on what they taught you. And so the moment that that stops, now I don't know what to do. Well, and so mm -hmm. you're telling me to bet on myself, mm -hmm. but now the train track has stopped. It's ended. Where do I go? What do I do? Most people don't know how to begin to build their own track. Mm -hmm. It's because the people that created the system that's in place nowadays 
created that system in order to keep people thinking that they cannot create opportunity for themselves. From when we're young, someone comes along and says, you go to college, you get this degree, you get this job, we create this opportunity for you and we'll see if you're worthy of it. No one ever says, unless they have parents like you guys, to stop and say, wait, 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 wait. You can create your own opportunity. You can assign your own value to yourself. You don't have to wait and say, somebody says, oh yeah, you work, you know, however many hours a week, you're worth a hundred grand, 50 grand, 60 grand. Like what the, the people that created the system are the same ones that are basically brainwashing you into believing that they're the only ones that can create opportunity for you. So that's why we run to other people to try and create opportunity for us because back in, in the deepest parts of our minds, we have the idea that we can't create opportunity for ourselves. That opportunity, especially financial opportunity, will only come about through the grace through smarter people permitting us to do that or giving us some secret knowledge that we can't possibly grasp. You do not have to be a genius to invest successfully. You need to be knowledgeable and you need to have a system and you need to have a great community. Those are the three things that you need to have in order to invest successfully. So stop looking to get rich quick because newsflash, I'm telling you, even if it happens, you will not stay rich or wealthy because you want to aim for wealth, not riches. But again, that's a complete different conversation but yeah, not everybody has grown up learning the difference between riches and wealth the, mm. the two the difference of the two but one of the reasons why I wanted to add investment education um, sector to the wealthy leaders Institute is one you can't build without compounding right it just it just doesn't happen and I wanted people to learn to understand and be able to manage risk Adam said earlier, mindset is the ultimate corrector. Mm -hmm. And so one of the reasons why it's so easy for people to fall, fall into pyramid schemes is because of mindset, right? They're still operating out of a poverty mindset. A poverty mindset wants to get rich quick, quick. Mm -hmm. Right, they're and dependent. they're it's dependent. dependent it's a dependent mindset. You're depending on something else instead of learning how to get in. You know the the driver's seat of your own financial ship and steer your own way wealthy. Steer your own way wealthy, and so I think it's important. And so that's one of the reasons why we added um, Adam teaching options trading which is something that you could get in it's low cost it doesn't cost a lot for you to to learn how to start investing that is another um you know i guess um misunderstanding most people even certain financial planners will tell you well you need ten thousand dollars to get started you need x amount of dollars to get started the reason why they tell you that is because their bonuses are larger with the more money that you put in and so the fees are assessed First, before you, their money ever hits the market, they get their feeds off top. It's it's called top bottom, um, top to bottom investing, and so that's why they tell you you have to have a certain amount um, before you can start investing. But it's simply not true, and so you can start with a little amount. But the biggest thing really is for you to educate yourself. When you know we said, okay, listen, let's start teaching people what we do because it was one of the questions that we got all the time was about investing and so but the first thing that you need to learn is to take care of the downside and the upside will take care of itself mm -hmm. which is why we teach inside of get some is um stock stock options made easy inside of the program we teach you how to be able to manage the risk like how do you um, not only just read the charts because most people stay away from investing is because they're ignorant of the charts they don't know how to read the charts but you know the best investments follow trends so how to do i read the trend if you're waiting on the news lady um to give you you know on the evening news your investment mm -hmm. tips like you you've already lost money also on like power lunch and all that stuff like their reasoning behind what goes on in the market is just like such crap. And I don't mean to slay or any of that, but any knowledgeable investor who knows fundamental and technical analysis both, like the stuff that they use as to what is driving the market is not at all what's driving the market. And knowledgeable investors sit back and laugh at what they say. Oh, well, this increase in cases caused this or this caused this. 
No, it didn't. It's because of X, Y, and Z. And it's once you learn how to decipher what's going on behind those candlesticks, people look at a chart and they get so confused. At the end of the day, it seems like all this digital mumbo jumbo, all this behind this is the sentiment of people. The hearts like you, you, me, all the market is is a proxy for the sentiment of the American people. Mm-hmm. All the oh yeah, all the chart for formations are chart patterns, patterns of accumulation and distribution. Even if a stock's going sideways, it, something is happening there. And inside the program you learn to read primary indicators, secondary indicators, they give you some insight into, okay, this is going sideways, but are we gathering buyers, or are we gathering sellers? What's happening over the course of this formation? You can go online and look up certain chart patterns, cup and handle, all that stuff. You can go online and see what it is, but if you don't understand what's going on in the nooks and crannies behind that chart pattern, you won't understand correctly how to invest, even using technical analysis, because you don't get fully the greater picture of what's happening. And that's why it's so important to find someone and to find a community that can help you keep your eyes on the prize and what you actually should be paying attention to. Because even once you gain knowledge, there's still noise. On every level of knowledge, there's still noise. And that's why you need more and more knowledge. Even if you do play the market, people play the market and try to hop into options and get destroyed. Destroyed. Because there's still, there's so much opportunity, so many options, no pun intended, that they don't know what to do. They don't know the rules. They don't have a system. So even you knowing about options and you say, oh, okay, he does options. I'll just do it by myself. I don't need to pay for the course. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine because I know that the system that we've developed and the system that we have in place is successful and at the end of the day i bet on that day in and day out and it's crazy how you know people can find money if i told you right now not telling you to do this but i said this earlier if i told you right now to go put 10k on tesla or your whole retirement on a tesla i told you this is by the way don't do that (laughs) or i tell you hey this is the newest best investment go put everything you have people will go find a thousand dollars two thousand dollars ten twenty thousand dollars but you ask someone to pay money for a course to learn how to do something Suddenly they're they're strapped. They don't have anything. Beforehand they go, okay, I'm not eating out this week, or I'll go and I'll sell this, I'll sell this jewelry, I'll you know put this on, I don't know, some type of like eBay, something like that. They find the money when they think there's going to be an immediate return. But oh no, I have to invest in myself. I have to have the confidence to bet on myself to be able to create a better future for myself and not rely on someone else to create that for me. I don't know if I could do that because my whole life I was told that I was not strong enough. I wasn't smart enough. I'm not the person that creates opportunities. I'm the one that accepts what opportunities are given to me. Don't be the person that accepts what opportunities are given to you. Be the person that creates and seizes those opportunities because that's what the people on the other side of the white picket fence do. They don't wait for someone to give them opportunity. They seize it and create it for themselves, but they also have the knowledge to see it. I made a Facebook post about it, a stagnant stock. There's tons of opportunity in a stagnant stock that hardly moves at all. Tons of opportunity. People don't know how to do that though. Even people that invest with stock, if you buy or sell a stock, you need it to go up or down to make money, whether you're buying or shorting. You need it to move up or down. With options, you can make money off of a stock going sideways. That's like a family paying you to babysit and all the kids do is sleep. You're getting paid to sit there and check in on something that doesn't move. It's like free money. But the thing is, people don't know how to do this and they don't want to take the time to learn how to do it. So it's important that you take the time to learn how to invest in yourself. Because at the end of the day, the more knowledge you have, the more opportunity you can see. And then you can also recognize when an opportunity is not an opportunity at all. Yeah. And so um, what do you feel like the best benefits are out of the course? Oh, did we lose? Are we still alive? Yeah, we're oh, okay. still alive. All right, I just wanted to make sure. So what were you saying? So are we well, have a what are some, Give me three of the be- top benefits out of uh, Get Some, the course. And also, mm-hmm. the link has been posted by DeAndra. Please don't just post any link for this. We have a, spe- um, a special link for people that come in mm-hmm. through the money school and DeAndra Lewis has posted it. And so don't just post any link, make sure you use that particular link. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. But so I think some of the three biggest draws of the course, number one, there's all the Q and A sessions from previous courses. Now, just to enlighten you on what that includes, this is 
U.S. versus China trade war, way back when that was the biggest economic news going on. This is live trading and experiential learning going on through the coronavirus crash, this whole pandemic. Not only that, I'm constantly adding content to this course, specifically newer rules that have been adapted in order to make you most proficient in investing in a volatile market using options. I already had strategies laid out for how you would invest most profitably in a normal market. Now I'm adding the volatile market playbook, so you're just going to be completely unstoppable. And here's why that's very important, because we're going into a volatile economy. And so we're there's... There, yeah, 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 we're, we're there, um, but it's going to get worse. And, and so you need to... Where are the requirements for the course? If you can, what are the requirements for the course? You don't have to be a sophisticated investor. You don't have the to. The first be. slide says, "What is a stock?" That's how I sum it up. <laughs> People <laughs> always That's ask the me yeah. when I started. You know, yeah, was they sense. they started with the ground running? They're like, "Oh, the Nasdaq, the S and P." I said, "Well, who's S and who's P? What do you like?" That you know, they start and it's just so fast. What is a stock? That's where we start, and by the end of it, you know bullish vertical spreads, bearish vertical spreads, all that good stuff. You And you know how to use that terminology effectively, but we start at ground zero. It's 14 right. weeks. So if you have 14 weeks, the money to register and the time and the will to actually leverage this tool, I guarantee you it'll be something that completely changes your life. And we wanted to offer installment plans too for people who may need to, you know, spread it out. Spread it out you know, and so that's one of the things that was very important for me because I didn't want to leave anybody out in uh, getting this education. But listen, this we are, we're sitting on one of the most opportune times because there's so many different bubbles, and I talk about that in my book in uh, the market right now. But we're sitting on this is what the wealth transfer looks like. You've been waiting for the wealth transfer. You've been jumping up and down over church just because somebody on the pulpit stands up and say it's jubilee doesn't mean it's jubilee for everybody. And so the last time that that happened, how many of you really experienced true jubilee in your bank account, in your investment accounts, in your retirement accounts? And so this is how you take charge. This is how you start a revolution. This is how you create legacy. Mm -hmm. And so it's important and, you know, for you, if you want to learn how to make your money grow in any market, that's what I think the disruptor with what we're teaching really is because it's taking the power away from, you know, your financial planners who really doesn't care whether your money makes money or it doesn't. As mm -hmm. long as they get paid, you know, their um, fees, they can care less on what your stock is doing. Mm -hmm. And so this is a way even now I can have intelligent conversations with financial planners, you're edgy. You're not just taking their stuff, their word at first value. You can now have intelligent conversations um, with people uh, about the stock market, and so mm -hmm. you're now educated. I love the fact he just said, you know, the um, Martin Davis. This course really walks you from A to Z. So Martin's in the course, mm -hmm. um, and not only did I gain knowledge, but I gained the confidence. Um, that can that I can invest in the stock market exactly and and Adam really is my patient son he is um, extremely patient with people no question uh, you know I they grew up with me teaching them no question is a dumb question mm -hmm. if you don't understand it listen you pay for access inside of this course when you send me a question in a DM to say what should you invest in and I ignore you and I don't answer it because <laughs> what I do is I log in and see if you've made an investment in yourself mm -hmm. to learn inside of our community if you have it I just you know Go watch CNBC. If you haven't taken the time to prove that you have the faith in yourself to invest in yourself by investing in a course, then why am I going to think that whatever advice I give you is going to be adequately invested or will actually be used in any term or capacity? And I feel like also you talked about different things that this course allows you to do or what this knowledge allows you to do. People think that luck is luck and luck is is not luck everything is orchestrated i don't mean to sound like conspiracy theorists so oh we're in the true. matrix they say that luck is when what is it when preparation meets opportunity luck is when preparation meets opportunity success so yeah yeah so so people say oh you you just happen to get lucky you were in this trade when this news was announced or you just happen to get lucky that you you know had a call out you had to put out when this happened 
do you really think that these huge companies don't have people with the same knowledge I do and they go to their guys and they say, hey, look, based on this pattern, we are on the verge of a breakout. All we need is one more push and our stock can jump 10, 20, 30 dollars. And then they decide to leak that information of right. that, you know, new effective vaccine or of that, you know, uh, out of this partnership to distribute your products in another country. That does not happen coincidentally. When you align yourself, we said what? When preparation meets opportunity, what is preparation all about? It's all about orienting yourself, positioning yourself to be there for when the opportunity comes. That is luck. If you learn how to do this technical analysis correctly, you learn how to read these charts, you learn how to leverage options, you will be there when the luck is created right. because you're correctly positioned. They know what's going to happen. They can read the charts too and they go and they say, okay, listen, we're going to hold this news till the exact perfect time, till our stock needs just that right. little push. So I sit there and you know I do my analysis and I'm in my trade and I say, okay, you know what? This hasn't worked out so far, but so far, but I've got faith. I did the correct analysis. I have confidence in myself and my knowledge that this will work out. Suddenly the next day, boom, they make a news announcement. My contract up 200, 300%. And I'm sitting there like, you know what? For a second, I almost doubted myself, but then I remembered that I have the knowledge to create my own luck and my own opportunity. Right. I don't owe it to them. All I did was position myself. Money is dumped from the sky every day. It's on you to position your bucket. And that, you know, that's really what it just, what it comes right. down to. It's not luck. It's all about preparation and opportunity. Right now, you have an opportunity to prepare yourself. You had one because I've been doing the course for over a year now. You had one before coronavirus hit to make a boatload on the way down. That opportunity has passed, but there is never a shortage of, of opportunities when you have the correct tools because right. each new day presents new opportunities. I will tell you, though, this course is not for dabblers. Mm -hmm. If you don't plan on doing the work, you don't plan on uh, creating the space and for time in your life to be able to listen to the modules, do the work, practice on the paper trades, then this course is not for you. Like, we actually care about the results that you get. You know, I love it when our clients send me a text and was like, you know, I made my first trade today, I made $700, or I made my first trade today, and, you know, I made 350% in the market. You know, I for the past four months, I've been doing what Adam taught me, and now my portfolio is up X thousands of dollars. And so, if you're a dabbler, there's a difference between people who are just spectators and then people who actually want to be in the game. We want people who want to be in the game, not just the spectators, because I am not interested in just taking your money and you not learn anything. The goal for me is that you get results. The goal for me is that you actually learn how to invest in the market, learn how to multiply your money, learn how to be able to leverage your money so you can leave a legacy for the next generation. That's what we care about. We care about creating Black Wall Street again. Be able to teach people how to make money in multiple asset classes, not just one asset class. So if you are you're a dabbler, then this is not for you. This is that not the place. Go mm -hmm. buy one of Susie Orman books and read her books. This is just not the place for you. Yeah, and that's the important thing right there. And it's just it's whether or not again you could by chance happen to get rich quick. Maybe you do get lucky. Maybe you do happen to be in the correct position by no product of your own volition. <laughs> Maybe you just happen to be there, your bucket is there and a bunch of money falls into it. It doesn't matter if it happens once because at one point you're going to miss because it's all based off of chance because of how you're playing. You're not getting this knowledge. You're trying to build and maintain wealth based off hearsay. And there's no way you're going to shoot 100% based off of all these different random people's opinions or ads you're getting on Instagram or from, you know, some random person coming across your life. So do you want to be the person that casually, and again, this very, very rarely happens where you happen to get in on some random investment and strike it rich? Okay, cool. That happens. What next? Because you have to learn how to create your own opportunity. Because if you don't learn how to create your own luck, that luck will run out and you'll be right back to square one. You'll be right back to square one. Yeah. So that's why it's so important to learn and develop a system. Again, you can go on YouTube and learn about options. You can learn all these different things, but you will not learn the rules that I'm teaching in this program to help establish a system. 
a replicatable system that will allow you to win more often than lose right. and also give you specific strategies to take advantage of movement, whether it is up up drastically, up mildly, going sideways, <laughs> mildly downward, or drastically downward. And then, you know, uh, one of the things that we offer afterwards is for you to be able to get into, you know, our group that is a subscription, but it's really cheap. It's like $25 a month. And you can even see the movements that the House of Holland makes in the market. Daily. You see what I do daily with my real money, what I'm, all the trades that I'm making. So you, but, you don't get But listen, get left you can't alone. get the subscription for twenty five dollars a month if you don't go through the program. Yeah, this is only for I'm not so letting un, yeah. unequipped people jump into the market with their own money, thinking they can just piggyback off of my moves. Because what I'm not going to do is have you go out and do some incorrect move because you don't know how to use options, and then suddenly you're busting down my door because you're like, Adam, you told me to do this, and you execute it incorrectly. And, you know, suddenly you lost that money. Again, the only money you can lose with options is however much money you put in. I'd like to point that out since people think it's so, uh, <laughs> it's so hard in order to get done. But Right. Oh, and amazing. I think the name of the group, somebody asked what's the name of the group. Yeah, well, just clarify that you have to be in the program yes. first. You, yeah, you have to be in the open. program first. It's so you not find out open. about that group after finishing the program. <laughs> right. Like, like Martin just joined that group because he just finished the program. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And so you have to be go through the program. Don't think you can circumvent and say, okay, I just want to pay the $25 a month to find out what your trades are every day. It doesn't that's work still like that. you it. wanting to be fed opportunities. Right. And not creating your own. I'm happy for people that invest in themselves to help usher them into getting their feet wet and right. learning how to put this into practice. But again, not someone who's lazy just looking for a handout. Again, we're not looking for dabblers. So thank you again. We have to go, guys. It's been We've gone way over time, but thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And again, I pray that you found some value in today's live that you can apply to your own life. And the link was posted in the thread. So if you want to be able to get in the driver's seat and learn how to invest in any market, no matter whether the market goes up, down, sideways, or it stays stagnant, there's possibility for you to be able to still make money. And so money is never lost in the market. It merely changes hands to the people who are in position and they know what to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And we talk to you later. Bye-bye.